Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop deals video. Now today's list is going to be a slightly special one because we're going to be integrating some of the games from the Cubic Games 17th anniversary sale to our overall list of eShop deals. Now, if you're wondering why we're going to be integrating them into the list, it's simple. It's because now I've actually had time to play all the games that were majorly on sale. And with only three days left to that anniversary sale, now is the perfect time to go over which are the games I'm suggesting you pick up before it ends if you haven't already. Now, as a last little bit of information, if you're not too sure what I'm talking about when I talk about that anniversary sale, I'm going to be linking up above the video to the instructions to how to get access to these prices. So if ever I'm mentioning a cubic game and you see a sale price of like, let's say 17 cents, and when you go on the eShop, you see $1.99, it's because there's a quick step or a quick game that you have to download that is free to actually get access to the sale. And just to be clear, that only applies to the Cubic games. We're still doing the regular eShop deals with a full list. There's only about five or six games that come from that sale. Now, the last thing before we get started, I just want a quick reminder if there's anyone that is new to this series. In this video, I won't be going over the games that are still on sale that were involved in last week's video. So if you ever want to get a full lay of the land and know really all the games that are currently on sale, I always recommend you also check out the previous week's videos because a lot of the sales overlap. And also don't forget just before we get started that if you do like these videos and you want to see more, best way to support the channel is to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. So now the first game on our list needs very little introduction I think and that is Final Fantasy VII. Really quickly, I just want to be clear that Square Enix is having a major sale and there will be a lot of their games on this list. I might not go into a lot of details into each one of those games because a lot of them have similar talking points, but I will be pointing out my favorites as we go along. And Final Fantasy VII has definitely have to be at the top of that list. And at 50% off for $7.99, you are getting a really massive game for only $8. This is basically one of the games that is responsible for really making JRPGs as popular in the West as they are nowadays. And Final Fantasy VII, with the push that Sony did back in the day with commercials and everything, really, really believed in this game. And you can see why. The characters are awesome. The battle mechanics are really solid, although being old school turn-based. And overall, the evolution system with the materia system is very, very interesting. So if you've never tried a JRPG, I would say Final Fantasy VII is a perfect place to start. The graphics will feel a little bit dated, and obviously this isn't the remake that is now popular on the other consoles, but it is nonetheless the whole game that started the craze over Final Fantasy VII. Now the next game on our list is one that is part of the Cubic 17th Anniversary Sale, and basically that is Pocket Mini Golf, that right now is 93% off, making it only 17 cents. As I mentioned earlier, if you don't see 17 cents, follow the instructions in my Cubic Game Anniversary video and you'll have access to the sale for another three days at this price. Basically, the game is self-explanatory. It's mini golf on the Switch. And honestly, for 17 cents, it's just tons of fun when you want to play a little game here and there. The courses are very varied and overall, it's a decent game, especially at 17 cents. Now, the next game on our list is also from the Cubic Sale. And that is Robonauts. Now, this game was making my list when it was just a regular sale at $2. Basically, this is a twin stick shooter mixed with platforming elements. So if I was suggesting it at $2 at 17 cents, this is like an instant pickup. And honestly, if you're not sure, I would pick up all of the cubic games that are 17 cents. You can't really go wrong. There's about a dozen and basically it'll cost you about, what, $2, $3 for 12 games. But anyway, I still am going to go through my favorites today, but Robonauts is definitely one of those games. And anyway, if you need any more convincing, this game also has a free demo. So you could always download the demo to try it out before you decide to take the huge plunge at 17 cents. Now, the next game also once again coming from the Cubic Sale at 17 cents would be Wrecked High Octane Stunts. Now, this game, I would say I'm suggesting more as a party game than necessarily a one player game, but you can still have some fun on one player. But I would say where this game really shines is if you can get a few people together and do some crazy stunts on a course. The game explains itself. Basically, it's cartoon like stunt driving. 
and you basically have obstacles. You have to score points by going through rings and all kinds of different obstacles. It's just a ton of fun unlocking all the different cars and basically just doing some crazy stunts. Now, at its full price of $6, it would be just an okay offering. But at $0.17, cents, this is a definite game I can't see why you shouldn't pick up. Now, the next game on our list, we're going back to the Final Fantasy series for a moment, and that is Final Fantasy IX. Now, after Final Fantasy VII, probably IX would be my favorite. And basically, what makes IX so great is it's a perfect blend of the old-school, first-generation Final Fantasy games and the more modern storytelling of the modern games. Basically, because they're putting names and faces on all the original classes that we had back in the day, and now they are really have personalities to go along with them. The storyline is one of the strongest in the whole Final Fantasy franchise. If you haven't played Final Fantasy IX, it is one of the definite must plays to really get a full of pleasure from the Final Fantasy series. Now for the next game on our list, we're going back to another 17 cent game, and that is Akane. This is one of the major pickups from this sale. If you're going to pick up one or two games only, this should definitely be at the top of this list because Akane at 17 cents is a ton of fun. It's basically an arcade hack and slash with a one kill, one hit kill type of mechanic. And it's a ton of fun and a ton of basically replayability. I got addicted to playing this game. I don't play it for long spurts of time, but I do play a few sessions here and there trying to advance myself from playthrough to playthrough. Now, for our next game, we are back to Final Fantasy and Square Enix. I know there's a lot on the list this week, but that's the way it worked out with Square Enix having such a major sale. There are so many great titles that I just couldn't not mention them. And the next one is Final Fantasy VIII. Now, basically, if you liked Final Fantasy VII, if you've liked Final Fantasy IX, VIII has to be a definite playthrough on your list as well. The only thing I sort of didn't like as much about this one was the upgrade mechanics to your magic system. It was a little bit frustrating sometimes making sure you got the best spells. I'll let you figure that for yourself out if you do try the game. But once again, the storyline is super strong. The characters are very well designed. And overall, it is another staple of JRPG history. If you haven't played this game, it is another definite, definite one you should try and right now at 50% off for $9.99 it is a great time to pick it up now the next game on our list we are back to that 17 cent mark and we have mana spark which is basically an awesome action rpg with rogue light mechanics and at 17 cents once again you're getting an amazing package this is another game that even at full price, I would say is a pretty good pickup. It, it has all the elements you're looking for for this type of gameplay, and it has some beautiful retro pixel art styles to it. And at 98% off, this is the ultimate time to pick this game up. With three days left on the sale, seriously, don't let these games pass you up. Now, the next game on our list is another Final Fantasy game, but this one will come just with a warning. This is an extremely good deal for someone who is a digital only collector. The reason why is because this game, if you hunt around, can actually generally be found physically for cheaper than it is right now on the eShop. And that's even when you take into account the sale price that it's at right now. And that is the Final Fantasy X and X2 collection, which is $24.99. Once again, it is a one of the best Square Enix RPGs in the last few years to come out. I loved X1 to death and basically if you're looking at the value for the money even at $25 for two AAA RPGs that have been totally HD remastered this is an amazing value. The graphics have also aged better on these than the previous Final Fantasies we've seen on the list obviously because this came from a, a more evolved console generation than the first ones but nonetheless storyline and graphic wise this is an amazing pickup. Now the next game on our list also comes from the cubic sale, but it's not 17 cents. This one is a dollar and 70 cents, and that is Blazing Beaks. Now this is another game that made my list every time it was on sale anyway, when it was just a little bit more expensive, which was around $2. And Blazing Beaks is just basically a roguelite twin stick shooter. It's a ton of fun, ton of replayability, and it's probably one of the best ways to spend under $2 on your Nintendo Switch currently. 
the bosses are tons of fun to fight. This is another one that you should definitely look at picking up before the sale ends. Now, the next game on our list, we're back to another great JRPG, and that is Star Ocean First Departure R. This is basically a remake of the PSP version that was already a remake of the original version. This is another great JRPG. Storyline-wise, it is not as modern, however, as the Final Fantasy series that we looked earlier. This is more of a traditional style JRPG, but nonetheless a ton of fun. And the Star Ocean series, I think, is one of the series that doesn't get as much love as it deserves. And this is definitely an entry that might get some people really involved in the series. So if you want to try out something different from the Final Fantasy and you want to try a good JRPG, I would definitely say that Star Ocean at $10.49, because it is 50% off, is another definite, really strong Square Enix title. Now, the next game on our list is another Final Fantasy game, but this one, once again, will have a warning. It is sometimes available for cheaper physically. So once again, this is for digital collectors only. And Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age is nonetheless a very solid entry at 50% off for $24.99. However, me personally, it is one of my lesser favorite entries on the list. I would say pick this one up if you've picked the other games up, or if you're really into the more modern style of action uh, combat in your RPGs. This Final Fantasy XII is basically one of the first games to break the mold of the turn-based combat and go more for a sort of action-based combat system. Now, the next game on our list is finally a game that is not from Square and not from Cubic, and that is Daddish 2, that is currently 60% off for $2.40. And it is just a very solid, very fun action puzzle platformer. And basically, you play as a humanoid radish that has to save his 50 kids from 50 varied stages. You have boss battles, and you have some really, really comedic humor. Each time Daddish finds one of his kids or faces off against a boss, there's some really awesome breaking of the fourth wall, and it's just a game that is tons and tons of fun as a laid-back puzzle platformer. And at 60% off for $2.40, this is amazing value. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Dragon Quest 3. Now, all the Dragon Quest games are on sale for 30% off. I'm not going to talk about the first and second one. They're still good games, but my favorite on sale right now is definitely Dragon Quest 3. And we already had enough RPGs on this list. We definitely didn't need any more. If you're going to pick up one of the Dragon Quest series that is currently on sale, I would definitely say start with the third one because the characters are more developed than in the first games, which were really basic, basic start of the RPG on the NES. Dragon Quest 3, you actually have really decent characters. And at $8.74, if you like really old school RPGs, this is a definite one to check out. However, I'm just going to warn you, the gameplay is pretty basic and the age, you can feel it a little more than the other games, obviously. So now the next game is going to be our before last game coming from the Cubic Sale. Uh, we still have a ton more games to look at, but on the Cubic Sale end, we only have two more to look at. This is Coloro, which is basically a puzzle platformer with some really amazing visuals and very simple controls. It's basically one button controls. However, at the same time, the stages are beautiful. The gameplay is varied. And for 17 cents, this is one of the best pickups you can do for this week. If you like puzzle platforming, it is a definitely awesome game. Even if it's full price, I would have almost recommended Coloro. At 17 cents, it is one of the games you should definitely get before the sale ends. I repeat, in only three days. Now, the next game is the last game coming from the Cubic Sale, and that is One Strike that is right now also 17 cents at 96% off. And the title says it all. This is basically samurai combat as it was intended to be, with everything getting decided in simply one strike. The first person to land a blow basically wins the duel. And what is awesome about this game is how addicting it is and how you always have to just play one more game, one more game, one more game. I'm telling you, if you get into this game, you are going to have trouble putting it down just because it's extremely simple. However, the mechanics just make you want to try one more match and one more game. Once again, at 17 cents, another definite pickup before the sale is up. Now, basically, the next game on our list is going to be Trials of Mana, 
Once again, a game coming with a slight warning. You can pick it up for cheaper physically once again. So I'm just giving these warnings out there because I know a lot of people are out there are digital only collectors. So I'm still mentioning these games. But for people who do alternate between digital and physical, I want to let you know that these are available at the same price or cheaper sometimes physically if you wait around for a sale. And that is Trials of Mana, once again coming from Square Enix. It is a remake of an amazing action RPG. And basically, it's only about 20 to 25 hours to finish it, but you actually feel really a complete storyline in that 20 to 25 hours. So if you want to play a Square Enix game that has some great mechanics, great gameplay, a great storyline, but doesn't require like 50 plus hours of involvement, Trials of Mana is an awesome pickup. And also, this one has a free download once again that you can try out for yourself. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Collection of Mana. So I just suggested the remake. Well, Collection of Mana has the original Trials of Mana on it with two other games as a bonus. And for $20 for 50% off, this is amazing value because you're probably getting 80 plus hours spread over all three games in one collection for $20. However, at the same time, fair warning as in a few of the other games for you physical collectors, it is often available pretty close to this price physically if you chase the sales. But for digital only, this is nonetheless pretty much the best it gets from this Square Enix title. And you're getting, I would say, very, very good value for your money. Now, the next game on our list, as if we didn't have enough JRPGs with the Square Enix sale, is going to be another JRPG, but this from a indie studio, and that is Le Grand Legacy. And for $2, this is one of the cheapest but one of the best value RPGs you can get currently on the Switch. When it's 90% off like it is now for only $2, Le Grand Legacy is amazing value and has once again an amazing storyline and gives you a fresh twist from all these Square Enix RPGs. For someone who likes JRPGs but wants to feel a little something different from a different studio, this week I would definitely say pick up Le Grand Legacy. At the same time, I would say this is even a great one to add to the backlog, even if you don't have time to play it now, because at $2, it's just a great pickup. Now, the next two games we won't look at individually, just because they both come from the same series, and that is the Romancing Saga series that is basically right now on sale. You have Romancing Saga 2 and 3 that are really, really good pickups for someone who wants a classic, really old school JRPG, because these will feel I would say much more dated than the other suggestions so far on the lists, but the graphics and the beautiful art style of Romancing Saga really, really drew me in when I played them back in the day on the SNES uh, era. And basically right now for one is $12.50, the other one is $14.49. If you're a fan of really old school classic JRPGs, the Romancing Saga is a definite one you should check out. But I, I do put that warning that it is really old school and sometimes the storylines to Western audiences will feel less connected. But nonetheless, they are great, great ones to play through and they're both on sale right now at 50% off. Now, the next great game on our list is going to be Fury Unleashed. This is an amazing roguelite platform shooter. Basically, it feels to me like what Contra would have been reimagined as a roguelite platform shooter, basically. And at $9.99, when it's 50% up, it is great, great value. It has some amazing comic book-like visuals, but fair warning, this game is quite difficult. So, But if you enjoy a challenge that is extremely rewarding, I would definitely say that Fury Unleashed should be at the top of your list. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Monster Energy Supercross the Official Game 3, which is right now 75% off for $12.49. And I would say if you're if you're into sports motocross games, this is probably the best one we have on the Switch. We don't have a ton, but out of the ones we do have, I would definitely say that this is one of the best ones. I do enjoy from time to time some different racing games. And Super Motocross actually surprised me. It runs really well on the Switch and is a very, very well done port. And at $12.49, it is definitely worth the time if you're into this type of game. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Hob. 
which is currently 40% off at $11.99. Now this is a 3D open world action adventure game. And it's one that I actually was missing out on for quite a while. A friend suggested it to me, I gave it a whirl, and it is a really, really amazing game. And at $12, it is definitely worth the investment. If you need any convincing for yourself, there is a free downloadable demo, and basically you can give it a whirl. But I just want to say that this is a game that originated on the PC, and the port was done by Panic Button, just to give you a little heads up, which is one of the best companies for porting games to the Switch and basically they did an amazing job with Hob and it looks better than it honestly should have for the Switch. Now the next game on our list is one that I love to suggest simply because when people try it they always come back to me that they fell in love with this game. And that is Blossom Tales The Sleeping King. I explain to it every time but this is as close as you can get to a top-down Zelda game without it being called Zelda and being made by Nintendo. And basically, it feels a lot like you're playing A Link to the Past when you play this game, although with slightly downgraded visuals. But nonetheless, Blossom Tales is a ton of fun if you're into dungeon crawling like in the classic Zelda series. Now, we're getting pretty close to the end of the list, but we have a few really cheap budget games here at the end once again. And the first one of those games is Mystopia, that right now is on sale for $3.24 because it's 35% off. Once again, I have a full review of this game on my channel if you want a lot of details. But it is a very simple Metroidvania style game. By very simple, most people will be able to knock this out, I would say, in under 5 hours. But it is nonetheless a really fun and fulfilling 5 hours with a really cutesy art style and some really simple mechanics but nonetheless that get the job done. So if you're into Metroidvanias but you want a laid back sort of just fun experience that you can knock out in a few hours, definitely give Mystopia a look. Now the next suggestion on our list is a pack that once again I love to suggest just because these are two games that when individually they're on sale I'm always suggesting them. So when the double pack goes on sale which is actually the cheapest way to get these two games you know that I definitely have to talk about it and that is the Valfares and Slain double pack that is now 65% off meaning you get both games for only $13.99. These are some amazing action platformers, one based on shooting mechanics, one based on melee combat mechanics, so you get a little bit of the best of both worlds with some amazing visuals, great soundtracks, basically these are amazing value for this week. If you have $15 to drop on a double pack and you're not into RPGs, this is definitely where you should look at putting your money. Now, as luck would have it, another amazing pack that I love to suggest is also on sale. And that is the Onikin and Odalus double pack collection at 75% off for $4.99. Once again, you're getting some two really solid action platformers and this time for under five dollars so if you don't have fifteen dollars to spend but you have five dollars to spend i would definitely say this is your choice for this week now we're at the last game on our list and that is going to be radio squid now if you follow the channel you know that i'm a sucker for game boy style based games but radio squid is honestly one of the best of that type and right now at 40% off for $2.99 is an excellent time to pick it up. Because Radio Squid, if it only has one major fault, is that it is actually quite, quite short. But at $2.99, it sort of doesn't feel bad anymore. You still get, in my opinion, some amazing gameplay and amazing value for your money at that price. So basically, if you want a simple Game Boy styled little action platformer, Radio Squid is a definite pickup for you for this week. So now that's pretty much it for this week's eShop deals. Now I know that this week's list was extremely RPG heavy, but there's no way around it. When Square Enix has a major sale like it is now, there's a lot of games to mention in that style of gameplay. Also right now, for other major developers, the eShop is a little bit quiet. So at least RPGs get some time to shine, with a few indie titles thrown in here and there. Also, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you aren't seeing the pricing I was mentioning for the Cubic published games, 
do check my video out on how to get access to the sale. It is really quick, really easy, and you can really get those amazing prices. 17 cents for those games are some are really games that you should not pass up. Now, last thing before we go, don't forget that as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you like these videos and you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.